All right, so the first step to this worksheet is focusing on value. That's this top left area right here. And for value, um, that's simply the lightness and darkness of a color or tone. And in simple way, a simple way you can put that is just going dark to light or light to dark. So you can choose any color you'd like to work with. And your goal right here in this top area is to just create value going from one side of this rectangle to the other. So it doesn't matter if you go dark to light or light to dark, but you do want to start with your color pencil at one end in order to make it a darker tone or a darker color. You're just gonna press down really hard to begin with. And as you gradually move across the shape, you're gonna gradually get lighter and lighter and lighter. And it's all about the amount of pressure you're applying to the pencil. So as I'm going across, I'm slowly lightening up the pressure I'm applying to the pencil on the paper. And it's just getting lighter and lighter and lighter until you eventually are just barely touching the paper and it just fades out to um, white. So if you wanna do this a couple different ways, you can go dark to light inside and do it the opposite direction, going dark to light this way as well. And for this practice, I'm not as concerned about getting it perfectly nice and neat around all the edges. I just want to see a gradual value scale of dark to light, just like that. All right, so then you're done with that first part. The next technique, if we move one over this way, that's when we use value, but we're going to burnish it. So when you burnish your color, you're going to go over it with either a white or you can go over it with a colorless blender to polish it up and make it look really smooth. And the difference between that and just using regular value is pretty much the uh, texture it leaves, um, leaves behind. When you just use value on paper, it leaves these little white specks um, within your color. When you burnish it with either a colorless blender or white, it's gonna make it more saturated and solid color, but it's still gonna give you that value scale. So that's what, let's see what that looks like. We're just gonna go dark to light once again. Gradually getting lighter by applying less pressure to the pencil. And then if I wanna burnish it with white, you're gonna go put the white on top of the dark part and then push down really hard and work with little ovals. And as you see, as you move across, this white is going to mix in with the red. And in the areas there's less red, it's gonna stay lighter, but we are making the paper totally saturated with color pencil. So you don't have any of those little white specks showing through. And if you wanna try that with a colorless blender, here's what that looks like. Let's make another value scale. So the white is gonna make it look really kind of polished um, and almost like give it like a glossy look. And it does lighten the color up a little bit. The nice thing about the colorless blender is that it will blend this and make the paper saturated, but it won't lighten your color at all. It'll still stay that same red, but you're just gonna smear that color around with a clear pencil so that it keeps that same value. So you're still going dark to light. However, it keeps the um, brightness of that color and it, it also makes the paper more saturated. So there are two different techniques um, for the same one right here. Um, finally, in this box, this is all about blending, which is pretty similar to the burnishing because you are mixing colors. But yeah, blending is just when you mix one color pencil in with another one. And I like using colors that are um, next to each other on the color wheel for this. Um, for example, red, orange, yellow, or you can work with cool colors, or even neutral colors. You can, you can start with like a black and then go to a dark brown and then a light brown and like a peach or something. But the key here with blending, and we're gonna use value as well, is overlapping your colors. So my first color, I'm going dark to light. My second color, I'm not starting right here with it, next to it, I'm actually gonna start on top and what I do is I'm gonna press down hard and this yellow or this orange is mixing in with the um, red color pencil. 
and I'm just going to come out and create value with this orange. And then when I use my final color, yellow, I'm going to press down hard with this. And it's almost like I'm burnishing with a yellow now. And this yellow is going to mix in with the orange. And I'm not going to use value with this, though. I'm just going to go totally saturated throughout the entire thing. And when I blend these three colors, I don't have any of these little white specks lingering around. It's totally saturated. The colors stay nice and bright. Um, and these are the three main techniques that we're gonna use to do more detailed things like the eyeball and the hair texture.